It's recording. Yes. Welcome to Exotic Astrology, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this solar eclipse video for 2020. Solar eclipse in the sign of Gemini on 21st June, Mriga Shira Nakshatra. This eclipse is going to be very important because uh, Rahu, Sun, and Moon, they are all in very close proximity. Okay, so therefore, uh, it's essential that we uh, try to get a hold of this eclipse. And uh, there are some other remedies also which I have uh, listed down here. Uh, but before that, I will be speaking a bit on this eclipse and the degrees of the planets and the proximity. And if you see uh, in drikpanchang.com, according to German time, uh, there is this sun at 6 degrees of Gemini, Mrik Shira Nakshatra. Then we have moon in 6 degrees, of course. That's why it's an eclipse. Sun and moon are together. And then Rahu is almost at 4 degrees. Okay, It's around 5 degrees, a bit less than 5, I would say. 457, 458. So it's very close, uh, around two degrees, okay, of this Amavasya Sun Moon conjunction. So therefore, this eclipse is very strong, and Mars is at one degree of Pisces in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra. Then Mercury is retrograde at twenty degrees Gemini, and then we have Jupiter, which is again retrograde at zero degree fifty seven minutes. And then Venus is at 11 degrees of Taurus. It is also retrograde in Rohini Nakshatra. And Saturn is retrograde in Uttara Shada Nakshatra. So Rahu is in Megashira and Ketu as usual is in Mula Nakshatra. So therefore, and Uranus is in 15 degrees of Aries Bharani. And Neptune is in 26 degrees of Pura Bhadrapada uh, of Aquarius, I mean. And Pluto is in 29 degrees Sagittarius in Uttara Shada. First Pada, all right. So these are the degrees, and on 21st June, this will happen. And now, many times people think that, uh, oh, this eclipse will not affect them because this is not happening in their home country or they don't stay where this eclipse is happening. No, it's not like that. This will affect everybody, irrespective of where you are. Okay. So, therefore, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me uh, for your personalized horoscope regarding this eclipse and the new beginnings which will happen for you, then you can go to the website which you will find down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and you will find Him. So, now what will this eclipse bring? This eclipse will bring a whole lot of things actually. This eclipse will bring in uh, birth of new technology, there will be new search, there will be new communities which will come up, there will be new friendship, there will be new food. These are the five things which I have written. So, new technology, uh, because nowadays, uh, you uh, because Rahu is uh, in Ardara currently and on 22nd almost, it is 22nd May around, it's going to go into Mrikshira. So, Rahu has been in Ardara from some time. And therefore, uh, Ardra is the sign of technology. But uh, the thing is, when Rahu enters Ardra, we do not uh, get the need. Uh, we, we just get a need to search for different technologies, but we don't make it exactly. That making happens actually in Mikshira. So therefore, uh, this uh, Rahu's transit is always retrograde, as you know. So Rahu behaves very differently because... Generally, Mrikshira comes before and then Ardara comes. Okay, so but Rahu's transit is retrograde. So when Rahu enters Ardara, he gives you a, he gives you a feeling that there is there has to be some new new technology related stuff because Ardara is related to related to electricity and new technologies and new ways of doing things actually. And therefore, uh, current, currently considering this uh, crisis, this lockdown which is there, uh, many times people have been asking me that uh, which are the different markets or which are the different businesses or technology that will survive. So, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, those, te those markets and those businesses which will adopt to new technologies, they will be the ones who will survive. And 
we know from the uh, 2007 2008 uh, crisis which was there um, many new uh, different startups had come out actually okay I, I can name many of them. you would already know them so therefore uh, currently also it is a very good time and opportunity to work on any startup idea which you have because now if you leverage the power of Rahu and use new technologies then you will see <clears throat> that you are able to cut through the competition and you are able to set your uniqueness you are able to do things which nobody else is able to do why because now uh, currently Rahu is in Ardra and then it will <coughs> sorry it will move to Mikshira on 22nd or according to some other calculations it has already moved to Mikshira so and therefore it's a very good time to search new new things because Mikshira is that deer which goes on searching the kasturi which is the fragrance which is already there inside his body but he doesn't realize that so he goes on searching okay so you will see that uh, there's a lot of focus on externals when this eclipse happens actually people will become more and more external they will and Mikshira is the nakshatra which is related to uh, drinks actually okay so the there will be a lot of new new inventions when it comes to drinks actually but make sure you do not uh, indulge in alcohol because that will destroy you that is not good for you okay so just because Rahu is transiting it doesn't give you an excuse to do that so if you are uh, taking alcohol then uh, you might uh, develop um, physical uh, diseases bodily problems okay in later part of your life or even uh, in young age these days and then Mrikshira also represents this quest for uh, this quest for finding somebody. So people will be very much aggressive now to find some members of the opposite sex to to get married, to get into a relationship, to date. So these are the things which you will see will bloom after this eclipse and then people will want to form communities because people will realize that uh, they cannot stay alone uh, when, when you are alone you are you it's not that you are unhappy all the time when you are alone but the level of happiness which you get when you are with somebody or with a group of people is much more uh, than when you are alone now provided that community is helping you and you are helping them if all of them are trying to pull each other down then it will have the opposite effect of course okay so therefore our community building will increase and then you will also see friendship will increase which means people will want to make friends from different circles from different countries different barriers different religions uh, across races across uh, age groups basically you might see that uh, people from the 20s are making friendships with people in the 60s people from uh, 70s are making friends with people from 40s okay these things can happen okay and because Rahu is very unconventional you see and then food is also there in the cards so therefore uh, you will see that uh, many many new although currently this uh, this uh, hotel industry has been struck very badly because of this uh, corona stuff but uh, as the lockdowns uh, are getting uh, less and less in uh, different countries you know, especially in Europe in Germany now they have started opening gradually so uh, you will see that people will embrace cuisines more and more uh, people will want to go out and eat more or go out and drink more People will want to enjoy more. People will want to have more fun. People will, uh, you will see that people will value human beings more. Well, you may think, oh, what do you mean? They will value human beings. Uh, well, uh, in the last 20, 30 years, because of this economic surcharge, everybody uh, had started uh, valuing the GDP of every country. But now you will see that along with that, people will also value human relationships they will also value uh, marriages they will value partners they will value value family members they will value everybody actually all friends and all their acquaintances okay this is what Rahu in Ardha uh, uh, taught us and this is what Rahu in Ardha in Mrigashira will give us opportunities to fulfill okay so therefore now let's go to the ascendant so this is as per ascendant all right, so let's start with Mesh.
Rashi, which is any Slagna, okay? So when I'm saying Rashi, I mean the Lagna, okay? Not Moon sign. So for Mesh, for Aries, uh, Rahu will be transiting in the third and Ketu will be transiting in the ninth. And this eclipse is happening in, the, in your third house, all right? And for you, uh, the different mantras are recommended. Uh, for you, especially one mantra is there, which is Om Namo Bhagwate Rishi Keshaya. This mantra is very important. This mantra will help you to regulate your senses. Otherwise, you might indulge too much in uh, materialistic stuff. So, therefore, and for you, fasting on Tuesdays is very essential. And Tuesday means uh, from now till uh, you can do this for at least three months from now. Okay, so currently is 8th May and then you have around uh, three, uh, around 45 days for this eclipse. Uh, from then again 45 days okay so six weeks before the eclipse and six weeks later okay you can uh, do the fasting and uh, tuesday fasting will be very good for you then you can also uh, do the vishnu sastranam once okay so this mantra om namo bhagavate rishikesha this you should do uh, 108 times every day morning in mala okay not in hands in mala you must do that okay and for you, because this eclipse is happening in the third house, so the energy of the third house will uh, decide the primary events for you uh, in the next uh, 12 months, okay? Depending on your dashas, of course. So if you are running dashas of uh, planets which are in the third, which are ruling the third, or which are aspecting the third or the third lord, and somehow linked with the ninth and the twelfth also, then you might go to a different place, to a distant place, or you might take long distance travels, okay? And third house is also the house of writing. And Rahu's, uh, one of the most favorite positions is the third house. So therefore, this is a very good time to write new stuff. Write about blogging uh, and then uh, write about your experiences in life which you have had in general. And uh, Rahu is also the Karaka for YouTube and uh, Facebook and Instagram, all these social media platforms. So if you have any idea and if you want to present it in social media, then this is the best time of your life. Okay, so utilize this opportunity properly. And therefore, um, also uh, third house is the house of siblings. So it can happen that you take a tour uh, to some place with your siblings, with your uh, acquaintances third house is also the house of acquaintances okay so it can happen you are taking trips basically and also third house is the house of courage as you know so therefore uh, if you are having any new startup idea and if you are the sub planets are indicating the 10th house or the 11th house or the 6th house or the second house these four houses of wealth and finances and you are uh, planning to give up your job and do your own business then this is the best time of your life you can do this if you wish and at the same time uh, because this k2 is in the ninth so therefore you might feel the need that at times you might have to seek guidance from your gurus so regarding the things which you are confused so wherever k2 goes there is confusion okay so, because Ketu is in the ninth, you might feel that you are not able to get a vision. Ninth house gives you the vision. Okay, Third house is all the small things which you do. And ninth house is finally where it accumulates. And tenth house is the house of name and fame, where you get name and fame. Okay, so therefore, if you are confused regarding your vision, if you have small plans and you don't know how to connect the dots, then this is a very good time to uh, approach a counselor, a career counselor, or an astrologer or a life coach or a health consultant or a spiritual guru uh, so that you can get a vision for your life okay so that uh, you can discuss with them the different ideas which you have and then they can suggest you according to uh, their experience uh, what can be good for you okay so therefore try your best do your best uh, explore new options explore different areas but whenever it, uh, it is required Please take guidance uh, and do not be egoistic and don't think that uh, you know everything because uh, you may not know everything. You don't know, I don't know, nobody knows, all right? So, therefore, uh, it's essential that whenever we are in doubt, we seek guidance, all right? Thank you very much. Now, let us go to uh, 
टॉर्स वृषभ वृषभ लगना टॉर्स लगना ओके सो फॉर यू दिस एक्लिप्स इज हैपनिंग इन योर सेकेंड हाउस एंड दिस ट्रांजिट ऑफ केतु इज इन योर एथ हाउस ओके सो राहु सन मून विल बी इन योर सेकेंड विच इज दाउस ऑफ फैमिली फाइनेंसेस बिलोंगिंग्स वैल्यू एंड फॉर यू Uh, it is essential that you uh, chant this mantra om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya 108 times every day morning and uh, you should also chant the hare krishna maha mantra which is hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram ram ram, ram hare hare and then uh, for you it's also essential that you please fast on thursdays okay because second house is the house of jupiter jupiter is the karak for the second house and rahu is entering the second house okay so therefore you must fast on thursdays it's very crucial okay and these two mantras you must chant on mala only not on hand so right so what is the second house <coughs> second house is known as kutumba sthan now second house can give you different results how will you know what results will this give well you have to check your dashas for that so if your dashas are indicating that you are going to have some a big career opportunity then it can give you career opportunities why because second house is the artha trikon one of the artha trikon uh, it's 2 6 and 10 and if you are having uh, dashas of planets which are in the seventh house then if you are around the age of 25 to uh, 35 or even more or maybe even less then this might be the beginning uh, for uh, marriage okay because whenever the second house is connected to the 7th house and the 11th house then it gives marriage whenever it is connected to the 6th 10th and 11th it gives you a financial income so therefore uh, this can be very good for you depending on what is there in your dashas okay and finally you have to understand that there can be multiple things also okay so sometimes your seventh lord is in the sixth seventh lord is in the tenth so if you have these placements then it can give you either marriage or career also advancements also okay so that will depend on your antardashas and what other planets are doing in your house for actually okay and therefore it's a very good time to uh, go and uh, have a great time with your family because second house is undoubtedly the house of your family and sometimes people get confused is this the family before marriage or after marriage no it represents all your family members okay so sometimes people think that second house for a girl is the maika which means uh, the family before marriage and then fourth house is the family after marriage no it's not like that second house represents your all all members husband wife mother father father in law mother in law everybody actually son daughter everybody grand daughter grand grandson <laughs> so therefore um, rahu can open up new opportunities for you to uh, mingle with your family members at the same time if your dashas are a bit challenging then this can create rifts within your family okay so therefore uh, please take care that uh, whatever steps you take in direction of your family uh, you take it uh, cautiously okay so don't take any decision hastily so suppose you are having a difficult marriage so rahu may tell you that you should break off this marriage okay but don't think like this all right or if you don't want to stay with your parents rahu may say get out of your this home and stay with somebody else but don't do that because rahu is this demon which gives you allure allurements okay so i i don't want to create fear but i am just cautioning you so that you don't take any step and regret later okay so now you know it so be very cautious in making decisions okay and because ketu is in eighth house so uh you may feel uh, a bit confused when it comes to uh, the resources of other people so whenever you are handling the resources of others which means suppose you are married and then you have in law so then you you should maintain a level of caution there which means you should uh do your research eighth house is the house of research okay so when you do proper research and then you uh, invest in the resources of your in-laws or your friends money then this will be very good for you okay and if you want help then you can take guidance from seniors who are in that domain who can guide you all right so therefore this transit can be very good for you if you use it uh, 
in the way I said after doing these mantras and you will be benefited. Okay. Now let's go to Mithun Rashi, Gemini, Gemini Lagna. Okay. For you, Rahu is transiting in the ascendant and Ketu will transit in your seventh. And this eclipse will happen in your Lagna, of course. So for you, it's very crucial that you chant this mantra 108 times. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Very, 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 very crucial for you. Okay. Then you should also chant the Vishnu Sasana once. Okay. In the morning, you should chant. Then you should also chant the Brahma Samhita. Right. So if you want to know more about Brahma Samhita, I have given the link in the description section you can please go and have a look at it okay brahma samhita it's a very beautiful you can chant uh, this will really help you all right and preferably do all the three during the brahma mood or time okay uh, don't do it in the afternoon or evening uh, if possible you do it in the morning that will be very best for you now let's discuss about this transit according to your ascendant so for you this transit will happen in your first house which is your ascendant and therefore uh, rahu's transit during this ascendant uh, brings a lot of new opportunities for you regarding every area of your life now which area of your life it will bring uh, that will depend on your dashas okay that will depend on your individual horoscope so new new opportunities to meet different people will come up new new opportunities for learning new things will come up for experimenting in new areas will come up so exploration will be a very key factor for you for gemini lagna people and uh, suppose your uh, planets which dashas you are running they are somehow signifying uh, career gains like the 10th house or the 11th house then then it will happen that you will have a lot of gains in your career and new new opportunities will open up for your career which means uh, you may feel that uh, there are some new technologies which you are learning you new domains you have shifted which you never imagined that you could have shifted before okay but now because of this transit these things will happen and suppose uh, you are running the dasha of your second house or seventh house, then it can happen that you, uh, if you are unmarried, then you can you may get married, and uh, it can also happen that you may, if you are already married, then you may travel with your spouse to different places, or uh, you may uh, discover a lot of new things uh, within the relationship. Your relationship could take a new, uh, it could go to a new level itself. Okay. And if you are running the dashas of planets which are indicating the houses of education, like 4th house, 5th house, ninth house, then it can happen that you go to a new university and start studying for your bachelor's or master's or your PhD or postdoc. And if your dasha planets are indicating the 5th house especially, uh, then it can happen that uh, you are uh, getting very much creative and you are wanting to decorate your home, you want to make things more beautiful and you want to put life into everything because uh, fifth house puts life into everything basically. So therefore, um, depending on your dashas, you have to analyze what is happening. Okay, But irrespective of your dashas, you will always feel that there are a lot of new things which are uh, happening in your life which you uh, uh, did not expect before. Okay. So uh, the transits cannot override the dashas, but they can give a particular flavor to the dashas. Okay. So for example, uh, suppose you are getting married. Okay. So then it may happen that your marriage is a bit unconventional, uh, not like earlier. Okay. Or if you are getting a new career opportunity, then it can happen that uh, the company that you are going is maybe uh, so, such a company which others may ask you why are you going to this company but then if you are confident you will end up going okay so and therefore and Rahu can also give you interest to learn uh, if you are running the dasha of the Kama houses like 3rd house, 7th house or 11th house uh, it can give you interest in learning uh, different cultures different uh, people and you might want to explore different regions and different philosophies different religions okay if your ninth house is somehow associated uh, if you are a hindu you might be interested in islam or you might be interested in christianity or if you are a christian you might be interested in islam or hinduism so this is how this can happen depending on your dashas all right 
नेक्स्ट लेट्स गो टू कैंसर असेंडेंट कर्क राशि कैंसर लग्न तो दिस ट्रांजिट दिस एक्लिप्स विल हैपन इन योर ट्वेल्थ हाउस एंड केतु विल बी इन योर सिक्स एंड फॉर यू इट्स वेरी क्रुशियल दैट यू चैंड दिस मंत्र ओम नमो भगवते नरसिंह हाय हंड्रेड एंड एट टाइम्स एवरी डे मॉर्निंग then you should chant the purusha sukta prayers okay and you will get the link of the purusha sukta prayers in the description box okay and you should also uh, chant the rama read read the rama and to whatever extent possible okay so uh, i will suggest one version of the rama which you can uh, buy from amazon that link you will also find in the description below so therefore uh, for you this transit is uh giving you a new beginning for your 12th house so therefore if you have plans to go abroad for higher studies or for any kind of higher education then this is the best time that you can get uh if you are planning to withdraw yourself and focus more on improving your inner self okay why because 6th house is the house of competition where you are fighting 24 hours but now this eclipse is happening in your 12th house so <clears throat> therefore the 12th house eclipse can give you a beautiful feeling as if you are asleep okay asleep doesn't mean you are lazy all the time so asleep means that you may get a feeling that you have fought enough you have had enough and now you really need to sit down and relax and enjoy the fruits of your activities all right so for uh, cancer ascendants i would uh, say that if you have already uh, achieved a lot or you have been fighting 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 and then you have achieved something then now is the time you should rejoice you should uh, spend more time in solitude in seclusion uh because this is uh, an eclipse in mikshira and 12th house is connected so therefore uh, it might happen that uh, you can go to a different country and meet a lot of spiritual people there or if the 5th house is indicated uh, you might also get into a love affair with somebody and uh, if the planets like jupiter and venus or the ninth lord is involved in your dashas then you might uh, be involved in religious activities pilgrimages and you might want to give a lot of donations also so therefore uh, these are the good things okay so now the challenges are with this transit is uh, that uh, you might indulge too much okay you might waste a lot of money wealth and resources so this is something which you should guard and take caution okay i didn't say you will lose money i said you might yourself end up wasting a lot of money so therefore uh, please do these mantras properly om namo bhagavate narasimhaya then purusha sukta prayers then read the ramayana then you will feel that uh, your life is under control and you are in control of the activities which are happening because sometimes we do things but we end up uh thinking later was that necessary all right so therefore uh whenever it comes to expenses uh, you should realize that uh your mind may tell you that i should do more expenditure especially uh when it comes to drinks okay and it can it's not necessarily alcoholic drinks it can be sugary beverages also so so therefore uh you must be careful regarding this and uh, not waste too much money in this and also uh because 12th house represents uh, ashram so it can be a very good time to visit ashrams and uh, go with your family go with your spouse don't just go alone go with your friends okay go go into a spiritual retreat like uh, 10 days out of mobile out of whatsapp out of facebook out of anything else okay just go and meditate be in seclusion that is the best thing that you can do during this transit okay and when you do this then you will realize that uh, your mind has become much more peaceful you are very much very calm and uh, you can now think for the future okay so that you can prepare yourself for the things that will come in your life uh, in the later phase all right so utilize this transit go inside uh, rather than going outside all the time and then utilize it properly by becoming a thinker become more deep become more introspective all right thank you 
Now let us go to Simha Lagna. Simha Leo Lagna. So for Leo Lagna, this eclipse is in your 11th house and Ketu is going to transit in your 5th house, of course. So for you, um, the two mantras which are very essential are uh, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is essential and the Guru Om Gurave Nama Mantra is very essential. So first you can chant Om Gurave Nama, okay? And then you can chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. The Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And for you, it's essential that you fast on Sundays because uh, Sundays uh, are very much crucial when planets transit the 11th house because uh, the 11th house is the house of Saturn and Rahu. It's the sign of Aquarius, okay? And they are the prime enemies of the sun. So therefore, you must fast on Sundays and uh, strengthen the power of your sun by doing more austerities, okay? And any kind of worship, if you want to do on Sunday, then you are free to do that. Any kind of worship related to Lord Ram, if you want to do, you are very much welcome to do that. Okay. So now 11th house. Uh, 11th house is considered to be the best placement of Rahu. It is the best placement. So you are very much lucky that uh, this transit is happening now in your 11th house. And therefore, 11th house represents uh, gains of all kinds. Okay. So now how will you know what kind of gains you will have? So for that, you have to analyze your horoscope and you have to analyze your dasas. Okay. You cannot just blindly say, I will have gains. Gains in which matters. So uh, if your planets are indicating uh, the 10th house, if your dasas are linked with the 10th house or the 11th house, okay, in connection with the 10th house, then you will very much gain financially in matters of career and uh, wealth uh, and name, fame, popularity. Uh, but if the dashas are indicating the second house and the seventh house, then you will gain uh, in matter of care, marriage. Okay, you might get married if you are not. Then uh, also, if you are uh, planning to have children, and if your dashas are indicating the fifth house, then you might gain children. All right. But 11th house is a very special characteristic, which means uh, there is very steep rise, which means things happen very fast, very quickly, and much more than you expected, all right? So therefore, uh, during this transit, you might feel that uh, you are getting a lot of unexpected uh, things which you did not expect, okay? And now suppose your dashas are connected to the 8th house. So then there could be an initial reversal, and later on you might gain a lot of things, okay? So uh, if your dashas are connected to the 12th house, then it can happen that you end up doing some business where you are spending some money to buy things and then you are selling at 10 times more the price, okay? So five, six times more profit is happening for you, okay? So this is how you will actually know what is actually going on with you. And also if the planets, the dasha planets are indicating the 4th house or the ninth house especially, then you can uh, go for higher education. You, can, you could go to a different country because Rahu represents foreign lands, okay? And it could happen that you end up uh, gain, uh, finding a lot of unusual friends there, friends which are like from different country, religion, or totally different background. There's no similarity, but you become very good friends, okay? So these things can happen. And 11th house is the house of association. So... When Rahu transits the 11th, you will get a lot of opportunities to socialize with people, meet people, hang out and make a lot of friends. So this is the best time. So uh, make these uh, friends your lifelong friends, okay? Because now Mrikshira also represents friendship and community building. And 11th house is the house of communities and uh, friendships and long-term relationships, basically. So this is the best time for you to make lifelong connections, all right? So if you plan your life properly, then it would happen that the kind of friends that you make during this time, they will stay with you lifelong, okay? But it could also happen that uh, these people who you meet now, you never see them back again, all right? So understand that if that happens, your karmic dealing is over and now they have gone uh, and you, you have also moved out, okay? So depending on your dashas, you will see how the 11th house gives you results, all right? Thank you very much.
नाउ लेट्स गो टू कन्या वर्गो राइजिंग कन्या लग्न कन्या राशि ओके कन्या लग्न दिस ट्रांजिट इज इन योर टेंथ हाउस एंड केतु इज इन योर फोर्थ एंड फॉर यू दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द वेरी बेस्ट प्लेसमेंट लाइक फॉर लियो बिकॉज फॉर राहु द बेस्ट प्लेसेस आर थर्ड सिक्स टेंथ एंड इलेवेंथ ओके सो फॉर एरिस इट वाज अ वेरी गुड प्लेसमेंट for leo very good best and for virgo also it's like the best because 10th house is the house where sun gets stigvali and rahu always likes to uh, eat the sun <laughs> in the power of the sun not in the sun literally okay so therefore 10th house is the mid heaven where the sun is at the peak of full power all right so therefore whatever plans you have in matters of career for opening a new company or entrepreneurship or getting getting a job into some very big company like google facebook amazon or microsoft or facebook or whatever whichever company that is now is the time that you execute that okay and because this transit is ex going to be excellent for you you should first see uh, how your dashas are supporting this transit okay because the transits actually uh, can only do something if the dashas agree okay so now this transit is happening in your 10th which means uh, to some extent irrespective of your dashas things will happen at a very big scale okay so therefore you check your dashas if your planets are linked with the natural significators of education like jupiter mercury or the ninth lord or the fifth lord or suppose you have a planet in the fifth or the ninth then uh, it can happen that uh, you are doing something very big when it comes to education okay, you have published some paper or you have published some journal or you have written some thesis which becomes viral which becomes very famous because of which you become very famous and you make a lot of progress and if your dasha planets are already indicating the 10th house or the 11th house then really big things will happen okay then you might get some very big promotion or you might get in a very senior executive level position and therefore uh, this time is very crucial for you if you are going to if you are thinking of making that next step okay that next big step so do not waste a single moment after this eclipse okay so whatever plans you have in whichever area please execute it in career field but now suppose your uh, planets are indicating the 5th house okay in connection with the 11th house or the 10th house then this can mean that you are going into areas like creativity okay massive success in career creativity field or if your planets are linked with the 3rd house then it can happen that uh you are going and uh, finding new opportunities in social media in writing in blogging in uh, youtube facebook then instagram then journals papers publications speaking okay public speaking all these things will do wonders for you if the third house is linked and if the ascendant is linked with the 10th or the 11th then it can happen that you are going to get some big political uh adventure which means if you are interested in politics and your ascendant lord is in 10th or 11th or the 10th lord is in the ascendant 11th lord is in the ascendant and you are running the charge of these planets then this is the best time for you to execute your uh, political career okay and uh, if you are running the dashas of planets which are in the 8th then uh, it could happen that uh there are some sudden gains okay somebody is uh, somebody's health goes down and because of that person's absence you get a new position or a new new promotion okay so something unusual can happen so therefore whatever it is you should uh, plan to execute it fully okay don't wait and uh, don't waste any time just execute it don't think of anything else just think that now is the time that i will fulfill all my career ambitions okay irrespective of what your dashas are telling put your full efforts okay 
and you should chant Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya and Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva and Purusha Sukta prayers. The link you will get in the description. Okay, so these two mantras earlier you should chant 108 times every day morning and Purusha Sukta prayers once you should chant. All right. Thank you. And I will pause now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's go to Libra Ascendant. Tula Rashi, Libra Ascendant, Libra Lagna. We have this eclipse occurring in the ninth house, and Ketu will be in the third house. And therefore, it's a very important eclipse for you because this is happening in your trines. And Ninth house, as you know, is the most important and the most powerful of all the trines, 159. And it is the house of spirituality. It's the house of your gurus. And therefore, it is highly crucial that you chant this mantra, Om Namo Narayana, 108 times every day in the morning, especially in Mala. And apart from that, you can also read the Mahabharat. I will give a link in the description box for the Mahabharat, which you can buy and read. That will be very good. And also, apart from that, you can uh, search Uddhav Gita in the Srimad Bhagavatam's 11th Canto. This is mentioned. So these remedies will really help you to become more uh, spiritual because the foundational principles of the Mahabharat is a question what is dharma and ninth house is the house of dharma as you know and om namo narayanaya mantra cleanses you of the eighth house okay and eighth house as you know is the twelfth from the ninth house and udhav gita actually links you uh, udhav gita is very similar to bhagavad gita but there's uh, it's a bit elongated actually all right so therefore, uh, for you, the best thing to do is to uh, read the Mahabharata, I would say, uh, during this transit, uh, during this eclipse, so that you can understand what is right, wrong, what dharma is, what adharma is, all right? irrespective of whatever is your religion or whichever uh, ethnic group you belong to. Or if you are uh, wanting to read the Bhagavad Gita, you can also do that. Instead of the Uddhav Gita, you can also read the Quran or the Bible, if that inspires you. And ninth house is a, a very crucial house because the ninth house can give you new beginnings. Uh, an eclipse in the ninth house can give you new beginnings in regards to your gurus and to regards to your mentors, regards to your guides. So therefore, uh, the best thing that you can do as a Libra Ascendant for this eclipse is you can go and listen from your gurus. Okay, so not necessarily spiritual gurus. You, you might have mentors in your astrology community. They may help you. Or you might have a mentor for your health, for your fitness, or for your career, or you might have a life coach from whom you consult generally. So these people will really help you during this transit. So, therefore, the best thing to do during this transit is, apart from reading the Mahabharat, you should try to seek guidance for those things which you feel are beyond your control. And ninth house is also the house of higher education. So, if you are planning to do higher education like master's or PhD anywhere, if your dashas indicate that, then this could happen. Which means... If your dashas indicate the ninth house and the twelfth house in association with the fourth house, then you could go abroad to do a master's or a PhD. Or you could uh, be in the same uh, uh, country if the second house and the fourth house is indicated, now, along with the eleventh house, of course, for both the cases. And suppose the ninth house is associated with the third house and the fifth house, then you might get mantra diksha from a guru. And if the ninth house is associated with the third house alone without the fifth house, then there might be short distance or long distance travels. Okay. So depending on your dashas, you have to decide what is going on. Okay. So during this transit, please uh, make sure you have good relationship with your father, especially because ninth house is also the house of your father, with your teachers, with your gurus, with your mentors. 
and uh, give up your ego and try to learn from them. Okay, it's the best thing you can do because if you uh, show too much ego, which is the third house, Ketu can make you headless there. All right, so give up your ego, <coughs> uh, learn submissively, and uh, only then you will realize that uh, you are able to get the true knowledge. Okay, and do more meditation, do more spiritual practices, do more mantras, and this will really help you. Okay, so wish you all the best, Libra Ascendance. <clears throat> now let us go to Scorpio Ascendants, uh, Vistik Lagna, Vistik Rashi. For you, this transit is happening uh, in your 8th house. This eclipse is in the 8th house and Ketu is in your 2nd house. And therefore, for you, uh, it's very crucial that you uh, read the Bhagavad Gita because 8th house can give you some confusion sometimes and Arjuna was also confused so he read the Bhagavad Gita and he understood what he should be doing. So it's not uh, bad to be confused but it's not very good to remain confused all the time. All right. So therefore don't be confused. Read the Bhagavad Gita and you can also chant this mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. This is a mantra for Lord Nursing Dev which will give you freedom from all fear because Many times the 8th house can make you fearful. So do not fear. Chant this mantra. Okay. And then Queen Kunti's prayers from Srimad Bhagavatam 1st Canto. You will find the link in the description box. Okay. This will really help you to uh, be more in tune with your uh, self, with your spiritual practices. And now the 8th house is a very good house if it is used properly. So many times people fear the 8th house. But actually if you use the 8th house properly, then it can actually do wonders for you, which no house can do. So therefore, uh, during this uh, transit, uh, use this time to do more meditation, to go deeper within, and also to do research. So for example, uh, if you are into some kind of a research field, then this is the best time for you. If you are planning to do some writing, then this is a very good time to do thorough research on your articles and only then post okay and depending on your dashas it will be decided what happens so if your dashas are somehow linked to the 10th house then it could happen that you might get promotion in an unusual setting which means uh, some other person may get sick or uh, they, they may leave the job because of which you might get a promotion something uh, something of this sort can happen and apart from that, if it is uh, linked with the 11th house, then you might get a lot of money from other people, which means your friends may say that uh, we want to start a business. How about uh, taking this money and then going forward? All right. So 8th house is the resources of other people, basically. So if it is linked to the 11th house, uh, your Dasha planets, then these things can happen. Okay. And... Uh, 8th house is also the house of intimacy and developing deeper connections with people, with your friends, with your spouse, with your parents. So, <coughs> sorry. So, therefore, if you are married, then it's a good time to uh, cultivate your relationship. And if you are single and if your dashas are linked to the 5th house and the 8th house or the 12th house, then uh, you might also uh, fall in love with somebody. And then uh, if the 7th house is involved, you might also get married. So uh, apart from that, if you are if you are thinking of uh, buying property, then also eighth house can help you if it is if your dasha planets are linked to the fourth house and the eleventh house. So how it can help is uh, you can uh, take some loan from your family members or relatives, uh, not from the bank of course, but from your known circles. Okay. And by that, you can purchase a car or a property, uh, depend, depending on your dashas, of course. And uh, if you are married, then uh, you, you might want to focus on your in-laws and uh, your own family because Ketu is transiting in your second house. You may feel that uh, now it's a bit time for me to focus on the family of my spouse rather than my own family, okay? So go out, uh, go, go, go out uh, and eat with them, have a nice time as Mrikshira does. You know. So if you activate these traits of Mrikshira with your in-laws family, then it's a very good time for you. Okay? 
And if the 11th house is linked to the 5th house in your dashas, then there can be gains through speculation or uh, shares on all this also. But don't get too much into gambling. It's not very good for you. Okay. And apart from that, if uh, your health is not good, then you should focus on your health because 8th house can sometimes give some uh, sudden hidden diseases. Okay. It might show up. So make sure you have a good lifestyle, healthy diet and omit meat completely become a vegetarian that's recommended for you okay thank you very much now let us go to sagittarius lagna <coughs> dhanu lagna dhanu rashi then we have this transit in your seventh house and ketu transits your ascendant very interesting transits for you with uh, jupiter in your lagna your lagna lord in your lagna and then Saturn in your second, then Rahu, Sun, Moon in your seventh. Okay, very interesting transit. And uh, for you, it's crucial that you uh, chant the Vishnu Sahasranam every day, once at least. And then you can chant uh, this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. It's very good for you. Now the mantra is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. This you can chant 108 times every day morning. Then for you, fasting on Mondays is essential. It's recommended because uh, the sign where Jupiter gets exalted is Cancer, which is ruled by the moon. So therefore, fasting on Mondays is very essential for you uh, during this transit. And also uh, the sign Cancer falls in your eighth house. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore, uh, this transit will open up new doors and opportunities for uh, relationships and marriage for you if your dashas indicate that. Okay. So now, uh, one twelfth of the world population, so around uh, one twelfth of the people are Sagittarius Lagna on an average. But everybody will not get married. Only they will get married whose dashas are indicating. Okay. So. If you are running the dasha of the second house, seventh house or eleventh house, and if you are above 25 in India or some other country, <clears throat> and if you are interested in getting married, then you might get married. This eclipse might trigger marriage for you. Or if you are running the uh, dasha of the tenth house, which means suppose you have Mars in tenth or Sun in tenth or Jupiter in tenth, and you run these dashas, then this seventh house eclipse can open up new business opportunities for you and uh, because it's the um, seventh house so multiple opportunities will actually open up for you uh, for business actually multiple ways and if you are running mercury mahadasha and mercury is indicating uh, these houses like second house sixth house tenth house eleventh house or even if you're running mercury antaradasha then also it can <coughs> open up multiple sources of income for you especially if it's mercury okay uh, jupiter can also end up opening but jupiter uh, generally opens two sources of income okay and mercury is more than two in fact and uh, if you are already uh, in a relationship with somebody and now if you want to uh, take it to marriage if you want to give lifelong commitment to your uh, partner then this is the best time uh, to prepare for that and of course if you have nakshatras like uh, Purva Falguni or Rohini prominent then you can also <coughs> help other people get married uh, during this eclipse uh, and you can also reap benefits of karma like that and <coughs> apart from that if you're already married then this is a very good time to uh, spend time with your spouse actually, to know your spouse more, to understand his or her needs and expectations. And to try to learn that uh, their opinions may be different from yours because Mrikshira can give, give you this tendency or Mrikshira may uh, give you this need to understand others, to understand what others feel what others think what others need because many times we think that we know what is best for that person of course a parent may know that for a child but uh, within relationships we need not assume things okay so therefore um, Rikshira may give us tendencies uh, 
by which we declare that oh no no i think this is good for you i think that's good for you but we should also ask that person what they think is good and bad for them because we cannot force things we should not force things ultimately okay and seventh house in general represents any other person that you meet not uh, marriage or romantic wise but any other person so Mrikshira will open up these opportunities for you where you can meet more people socialize more and have a good time all right so utilize this properly thank you Sagittarius Lagna people <coughs> now let's go to Makar Rashi Capricorn Lagna Makar Lagna so for you, this transit is happening in your sixth house and uh, this Ketu's transit will be there in your twelfth house. And uh, because sixth house is one of the Upacha houses, so therefore, this is uh, one of the best placements for you. So congratulations, uh, Capricorn Ascendants, Makarashi people. For you, it is undoubtedly the best time to focus on your work sixth house represents daily schedule daily work okay and for you uh, you can always chant this mantra om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya why this mantra because uh, jupiter is the uh, karaka for good health okay so sixth house also represents good health and diseases if badly placed or badly afflicted so when you do this mantra for Jupiter 108 times every day morning, then you will see that your health starts improving. And then you can also uh, do Om Namo Bhagavate Rishi Keshaya. This is a man mantra for Venus. This is a very beautiful mantra actually. All right. And because Jupiter and Venus health wise, they control uh, very important organs like Jupiter controls the liver and uh, Venus controls the pancreas, which secretes very, uh, very crucial uh, juices for the body actually. Okay. And then you can uh, chant the Purusha Sukta prayers. You will see the descript uh, this in the description box. Okay. The link for this. And you need to understand that now is the time that you stop eating the wrong foods okay because if you are eating right uh, you will think uh, i mean if you eat good then you will think good you will feel good you will look good you will talk good you will behave good but if you are not eating the right foods especially during this lockdown if you are just sitting and if you're just uh, indulging in sugar or you know meat or alcohol if you are indulging in these things then they might take a toll on your health okay so now rahu may force you to take care of your health so therefore uh, get up early in the morning do yoga surya namaskar go to the gym and uh, go for long walks at least even if you are aged and then by that you improve your diet shift to a vegetarian diet don't eat meat uh, give up eating meat and then by that you will see that your uh, health has improved overall and you feel much better, you look better, you think better and people will also like to be around you and Rahu in 6th house is very good for competition or if you want to crush your enemies competition then it's a very good time. So if your dashas are indicating the 6th house, 10th house and 11th house, then you will have great success in competition. You will uh, surpass all your enemies, your competitors, <coughs> depending on your horoscope, of course, because your competitor also may be a Capricorn Lagna and for him also, him or her, this transit may also happen in the 6th house. So, therefore, uh, it's crucial that you take care of your health and you have a disciplined lifestyle because Saturn and Mars are the Karakas for the sixth house and they represent discipline. So even if you are in lockdown, please have a disciplined life. Uh, please do yoga every day morning. You don't have to go out and break the lockdown. You can sit in your home and do unlimited number of asanas and pranayams. Okay, then sleep on time. Then uh, have a regular schedule. Sixth house represents uh, regularity and discipline, basically. Okay. And if you are not having a job, this is a very good time to apply for a new job. And if you are already having a job and you want to fight that competition and go up the ladders of success, then this is a very good time for you. You can do that. 
and Ketu is transiting the 12th house. So, uh, because of this, what can happen if you are not doing your responsibility properly and you go to sleep, you may feel your mind is just going, going, going. You don't get sleep. Okay, that will happen because Ketu is in 12th. But if you do your work properly, you engage yourself properly during the day and then you give yourself fully 100%, then you go to sleep, you will have the best sleep of your life, okay? So therefore, work properly, eat good, be good, think good, and sleep good, okay? Thank you very much, Capricorn Ascendance. Now let us go to Kumbha, Kumbha Lagna, Aquarius Lagna, Kumbha Rashi. So for you, this <coughs> transit is happening uh, in your fifth house. Rahu will be in your fifth and Ketu will be in your eleventh house. And therefore, this is a very important transit for you because this is happening in your trines. And uh, fifth house is a very important trine. In fact, sometimes they say it's more important than even the ninth house also. So therefore, when this transit is happening in your fifth house, this will open up multiple doors for you actually. In fact, they also say that fifth house is the best house of the horoscope. So therefore, this will open up more opportunities uh, for you to become more creative. So fifth house is the house of creativity. Why do they say creativity? Because creativity means what? Basically expressing yourself the way you are, the way you want, not thinking about anything else or anybody else, just thinking of yourself and just being yourself, okay? So therefore, this is a time that you should reflect on who you are internally as a person. What do you want from life? Okay. What are the things that you always uh, used to do which made you happy? Fifth house can also represent sport. So it's a very good time to play that sport which you always wanted to play but you did not play due to some reason. So fifth house can also represent children. Uh, if if your dasha planets are indicating the second house or the fifth house or the ninth house or the eleventh house, and if you are already married, and if you are married, uh, you already have children, then this can mean that you focus more on your children. Okay, so fifth house they say is the first child, but fifth house can be any children in general. Okay, so therefore, uh, it's very crucial that you now focus on your children and your creativity, and if your dashas are connected to the ninth house then it's a very good time to focus on your mantras and your gurus and this can also give you mantra diksha sometimes if uh, planets like jupiter and venus or uh, the ninth lord is involved okay so it's a very very good time and our fifth house is also the house of intelligence so if the fifth house is linked to the 11th house in your uh, dashas uh, and you are running the dasha of that planet then uh, it can happen that uh, you are wanting to sharpen your intelligence always. You are wanting to broaden your horizon. So therefore, you may uh, learn about new technologies. You may learn about new people, new cultures. You may go and meet meet new people in a different place. And fifth house is also the house of uh, love and romance. So when connected to the eighth house or the twelfth house. So therefore, uh, this is a very good time uh, if you are wanting to get into a relationship then uh, if your dashas are indicating that then this could happen okay and if the seventh house is also involved and you are already in a relationship then this could be a time to convert your relationship to a marriage and uh, give lifelong commitment to each other and stay married uh, for the rest of your life and Apart from that, uh, fifth house can represent uh, things that you like to beautify around you. So therefore, if you are into professions like interior design or interior decoration, then this is the best time for you, okay? And if planets like Venus are associating with this, then you can also take up things like a painting or poetry. If uh, you are running Moon Dasha, Moon Antar Dasha, Moon Mahadasha, then uh, and moon is linked with your fifth house or fifth lord, then <clears throat> you can uh, also sing actually. Singing is one thing which is represented by the moon. These things you can do actually. And if somehow sun is linked and you are running sun dasha, then uh, dance can be seen from the sun. Okay. So 
therefore these are various ways by which you can connect and you can actually experience uh, that you need to be yourself that is all you need actually okay and ketu is in the 11th 11th house represents our hopes wishes desires and aspirations fulfillment okay so don't think too much about your desires just think about who you are so the more you become yourself the more others will like you for for you being you actually so don't pretend to be like somebody else so just be yourself that's the keyword for you okay thank you very much aquarius lagna people <coughs> now let's talk of mean lagna mean rashi pisces lagna pisces ascendants so for you uh, this transit is happening in your fourth house and uh, this is very important because uh, fourth house is the kendra house which represents happiness and for you it's essential that you uh, read the queen kunti prayers from shrimad bhagavatam first canto and you re, uh, chant this mantra om namo narayana 108 times every day morning and you can also read the ramayana that will be very good for you and i'll give you a link in the description box you can have a link and look at it and therefore the ketu's position is in the 10th house and rahu is in the 4th house now 10th house is the most important kendra house and 4th uh, house is known as sukha sthan okay your inner happiness inner comfort so therefore now time has come for you to look deep within inside and see what are the things that can make you happy actually not externally internally what are the things that in pursuit in the pursuit of career and name and fame marriage children in pursuit of all this what are those things which you actually forgot which made you you actually <laughs> okay so therefore this is a very good time to uh, focus on learning new stuff actually this is a great time to connect with your mother this is a great time to uh stay at home and uh, enjoy the time and peace and comfort okay of your home this is a very good time to go back to school why do i say this because fourth house is the school actually and 10th house is your office so after school you go to office generally right <laughs> i mean after passing from school and college so therefore uh if you are having an idea in your mind for your career then now is the time you get the knowledge which is required for that rather than just jumping into it okay because you might get this tendency since ketu is in the 10th so you might feel that oh i just go and jump but because ketu is headless ketu doesn't know what to do okay so therefore don't just jump into it okay so do your proper research fourth house is the house of education so if your dasha planets are linked with the 4th house or the 9th house or the 12th house then you might uh, actually go abroad to do your higher education that can happen or if your uh, dasha planets are linked to the 4th house and the 8th house then it can happen that uh, you can do more research in your existing domain okay that is how this can uh, figure uh, figure out for you actually and depending on your dashas it will be decided uh, where will you go what kind of people will you meet okay and if your fourth lord is in ninth or ninth lord is in fourth these kind of placements are there then you might have a reconnection with your gurus you might or you might become a guru or a mentor for somebody okay so therefore this is a very good time to not only take knowledge but also to give knowledge okay and if you are planning to buy property then this is a very good time if you are wanting to buy a new vehicle then this is a very good time okay and if you want to decorate your home this is a very good time if you want to spend more time with your family members it's a very good time and if you are into real estate business then this is the best time for you to open up to new opportunities and if you are into uh, advertising business uh, related to property uh, which is like real estate but a bit different so then that is also a very good time for you that will also end up uh, 
giving you a lot of opportunities okay and uh, fourth house is also linked with the trines like eighth house and the twelfth house so it, it can also show your happiness peace and comfort so be be at home understand what you want what you want to do in life what you need in life and then gradually you can uh, become more and more spiritual and become a better person by that when you do these mantras om namo narayana especially 180 times every day morning you will see that your health and your overall mindset has improved okay so thank you very much